So, ever wondered how to go between your Godot scenes? Maybe with a nice fade to black effect or a loading screen? Cause yeah, any real video game will have more than one scene, and probably a main menu, so you'll want to have some way to switch to your actual game levels from there. But good news, that's actually quite easy to do. The core logic, the actual scene switch, can be implemented with just a single line of code. By using the getTree.changeScene to file or getTree.changeScene to packed build scenes, you'll tell Godot to replace the current scene with a new one that you reference either by its relative path in your project file tree or directly as the preloaded.tscn file. So that's it for the scene switch in itself. But of course, that's a bit crude, and players will probably find it really weird, especially now that our modern games do way more advanced stuff for scene transitions. So if you want to go one step further, a nice and quick to implement trick can be to do your transition with a fade to black effect. To do that, you can use a Godot autoload. So first, create a new scene in your project with a control node as the root that spans to the full size of the screen. Create a color rect node as a child with a black color that also covers the whole screen. And by the way, you can of course change the color of this color rect depending on the color that you want for your fade during your scene transition. Then with all that, you can save the scene as a new file in your project, and then open your project settings panel, go to the globals tab, and register this new scene as a new autoload for your Godot project. Though, if you want to be absolutely sure that this scene transition will show on top of everything else in your game, then you may want to change the root node from a control type to a canvas layer type with the highest possible layer index to force it to always be in front. Finally, select your root node and give it a script like this one. In here, we have a function that abstracts away the scene transition logic and that is super easy to call from anywhere else in the codebase, since we've registered our scene as an autoload. So in that method, we can use a Godot built-in to truly switch scenes, but around that, we can add some code to show our black color rect and have it block the inputs, or do the reverse once the scene has been loaded. To get a true fade to black, the best is to use a little twin object to have the color rex opacity gradually go from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, instead of having it just suddenly pop in and out. What's pretty cool with that technique is also that if the scene you need to load takes a while, for example because it contains a lot of data or it has to do some initialization computing, you can easily have the scene transition autoload script wait for everything to be ready before disabling the black screen. For that, you can just add an optional parameter to wait for, and if it isn't null, then you await for this specific trigger before continuing with the transition effect. Then in the rest of your code, you can typically use an event that you emit once everything has been loaded, and that you give to your scene transition dot go to scene call as the thing to await. This can even be boosted with a little loader component that you show until you're done waiting. And if you're curious about that, I actually made an entire video on how to make a bunch of different types of loaders. Similarly, if your scenes are loaded in stages, and you want to show this granular loading progression more clearly to the players, you can give your scene transition autoload scene a progress bar, and maybe a neat background image too to amaze players, and then in the script, you can use an array of awaitables instead of just one to show the loading progress visually with your progress bar chunk by chunk. And so, here you go. You now know a few simple techniques to make a nice flow for your game and better switch between your Godot scenes. I really hope you liked this quick tutorial. Don't hesitate to react in the comments and subscribe to the channel to get even more videos. And of course, a huge thanks to my Patreon and YouTube members for the support and to you for watching. And as always, take care.